Welcome. Hi, everyone. It's a little bit different. Uh, we are not doing software tonight. Uh, we are going to be pressing. So we have some HTV uh, and we have some jerseys and warm ups that we need to get done. So if you're here, thank you so much for joining. Let me know you're watching. I have um, quite a few things that we need to press. We have nine warm up jerseys, three presses each. And then we also have six jerseys like actual jerseys and they're one two three three presses each so we have a lot of uh things to press tonight so if you're here thank you so much for being here i'm going to kind of get going because i have a lot to do uh so let me talk about what we're doing first so i have this order for uh warm-up jerseys so these are going to be really cool i think uh they are for a basketball team and they are these nice zip up with the side zipper here. Now there's a similar one that I got from Sanmar not too long ago. However, these are actually from Old Navy. So really good duo. I think the customer got these like on super sale. You guys know I love Old Navy. They have sales a lot, so it's totally worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tag off. So Old Navy, I think like their full retail for this is still $49.99. So these are like pretty, pricey jackets. They're really nice though. So you can see right here. So we are going to be, oh, I dropped my transfer. We are going to be pressing these black on black. And this is using Caesar Strip Flock Pro. So it's going to be a nice like, um, like monochromatic, but it's going to have texture to it. So let me go over, make sure you say hi. I'm going to bring my, my camera over to my press. So you can see what's going on over here. All right, so I'm using my heat press station heat press. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this pressing pillow. And we are going to start setting up our front design. So be careful whenever you have customer provided orders. Sometimes you can get lint on them or, you know, I have a dog. So things that I give people have dog hair all over it. So make sure you're checking this to see if you have anything on it. Let's see if you can see that. So our first press is going to go right here. We're doing a left chest. Hey, Chameleon Cuttables Craft Ideas. I'm assuming that's you, Sabine. And then Jerry. Hey, Jerry. So we're going to be putting a design right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up a little bit more. I'm going to trim this transfer sheet to make it a little bit easier. And so this sort of thing, you know, left chest can be challenging for me. Uh, this makes it a lot easier because I have that zipper and the seam to align it. So it's going in here. You can kind of see it on camera. And I'm going to use my pressing pillow. I have a little square one, but this is only four inches. So I'm going to use this long pressing pillow normally for pants. And I'm going to feed this into my jacket. And this will help lift up this design. So the tricky part with this design is that uh, you have a couple things working against it. You have a zipper right here and you have a seam right here. So we're going to kind of, I'm basically just centering it in between there and centering it with the zipper. So now I'm gonna take this and we're going to close it. Now, this is where I test my pressure. I might not have the right pressure right now. Yeah, I can't even close it. So my pressure is up too high. The reason why we have that is because um, when we when we have a pillow it lifts it up and we need to lower our pressure for that hillary can't wait to see your face at christmas and make and, and make you all the crafts no hillary you're going to be crafting all right so we're doing this and we're going to do a 15 seconds so this is caesar strip block pro which means that we can do a warm peel and let me pop this up feel the zipper so some issues that i've faced with with um zippers is sometimes the zippers are plastic not metal so i just want to test it it feels pretty good so i'm going to go ahead and keep pressing this i, I can definitely make you if you're coming to my house you're going to be making these yourself too okay so we lift this off i'm going to move the pillow over just a tiny bit more because I really wanna make sure I get good pressure on this design. I'm gonna get a cover sheet. 
lately I've been really lax about using a cover sheet, but I guess I should. And so typically we don't do this many presses. I'm trying to just make sure I have everything correct. So um, that's why I'm doing multiples right now. So again, if you're here, if you just joined, please let me know that you're here. Say hi. I'm just going to adjust my camera angle a little bit better so that, you know, you could see me every now and then. All right, so let me take off this cover sheet. Got lots of fuzzies in, in this office somehow. Okay, so let's slide this out. This is my uh, Craft Pro by Heat Press Nation. I love that it slides out. So check that out. So we have our Gulf Coast heat. So now we're ready for some pressing on the back. So this is going to have a name and number. This is their warm up, like their little cute, little not cute. These are guys, so they don't want to be called cute, but these are their warm up jerseys. Okay, so we have the number and the name. So let me trim the name down really close because I can probably get this in one press. So do you guys have any questions so far? Have you done black on black? Like, what are your opinions? Um, again, if you guys join late, this is Caesar Strip Block Pro. Please say hi, let me know you're watching. And so I'm looking, so basically the way that I'm going to do this back name is I'm going to feel through here and I can feel the zipper starting right there. So that is how I'm going to line up their last name. I'm going to fold this in half a little bit so I can kind of find the center of this. Zipper, last name. And so we're looking to, one thing that I look for is that this right here, these little uh, armpit things, are the center of your chest. So obviously a back design, you want a little bit higher. So I'm centering it off the shoulders and I'm lifting it up because I want to bring it down just a tiny bit. So zipper, and this is like a half inch below the zipper. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my entire sweater up so we can line up our number. So the number gets tricky in my opinion because you have the hood. It's just like a whole bunch of stuff. So have you guys pressed hoodies before, like the back of hoodies. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Elena. Okay, so we have this over here. I'm going to bring this down a tiny bit. It looks um, it looks crooked. So yep, I have that on there straight. So now we're going to set up our number. So this gets kind of tricky because it's huge. Okay, so center the chest. And I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to grab my heat tape and tape it down. Um, Jerry, does the zipper cause this you, if you cannot go lower the zipper? It can, but I'm going to use a pressing pillow, so that won't be a problem. So for this one, since I don't have Nick to put it on and show me, I'm going to use my heat tape. This is actually Artist Pre heat tape. I like it because it fits in my normal tape dispenser. And I'm just going to tape it down so I can oh, so I can hold it up and see how it looks. And then once I have that, the rest will be easy. It's just like many of you, I second guess myself a lot. Okay, so we have this right here. We have our name. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna start setting up for actual pressing. So I'm gonna set this up like this, bring this closer to the top of the platen. And then like Jerry said, the zipper can cause an issue. So that's where our pressing pillow comes into play. So now I'm just gonna take my pressing pillow, bring it in here. And so now it's lifted up my entire design and then the zipper won't affect it. So let's go ahead and get ready and press. So the hood's gonna keep it, you know, make it a little bit difficult for my press to close, like slide all the way in. So we're just tucking that in, pushing this all the way. And now let's do, let's pull this down just a tiny bit. Okay, so now we're good. So let's go ahead and close it. Oh, that resisted, but that's okay. I got it to close. So have you guys pressed with a uh, strip flop pro before? 
Let me know your like your experience or what kind of press do you use. This is the Heat Press Nation Craft Pro 15 by 15. Now I do orders. Obviously, I'm doing one now, but like making apparel full time isn't like my whole thing. So that the heat press ones are perfect for me. Hi, Samara. All right, so let's lift this up. So we have that right there. And this is Strip Flop Pro, so we can um, peel it warm. If you've been using Caesar for a long time, uh, the, the strip block used to be like a cold peel and you'd have to wait, but now it's it's so easy to use. So we can have it right here. You, you can't see it too much. I'm actually going to take this and pop it in one more time just because I really want to make sure I get good pressure on this. So we're going to take this, bring it down one more time just to be safe. And then Sabine Chameleon Cuttable, she loves Strip Flock Pro. It's her favorite HTV. I love it. I've been doing um, blankets, like little baby blanket quilts, and I've been using that for it. That's actually part of my, like, Christmas gift project series that I'm working on. Okay. So let's check this out. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, check that out. So you do have a couple heat lines. This will even out, but pretty cool, right? And so I did ask the customer about uh, this left chest, if we still wanted the design there, and they said yes. So we set it up like this. Let me see if I can uh, put it on and model it for you. So this is a warm up. This is for a boys varsity basketball team, uh, local. So let's see. So we have this little guy, cute, cute. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it, right? Oh. What do you think? What are your opinions? So that is like a little like monochromatic type of thing. That's what the guys wanted. Um, but it feels really, really cool. And these jackets are nice. So this is part of the Old Navy Active line. Uh, they feel a lot like the sport ones that I get from Sandmore. So pretty cool. All right, so we have that right there. So I'm going to fold it and move on. So I'm literally just like pressing tonight. So um, please let me know if you have questions, if you have opinions, if you want to just chat about your day, uh, because I'm literally just going to press. So let's move this over. I may or may not have a cool piece of equipment sitting in my office right now. Uh, Jerry, yeah, the heat lines normally go away. Uh, if I'm having issues with this later, uh, I will go through and press it again. I will lower the pressure and put that on there without the, um, what is that, without, without the pressing pillow and kind of try to even it out. It's just like how sometimes you'll get like a square, uh, like a square when you're pressing. It's the same thing. Okay, so now we're moving on. We're doing our next one. So again, these are just Old Navy, uh, like active wear hoodies. I, this was like on sale a couple weeks ago, so it was a great deal for my customer. Uh, you can order similar ones through whatever um, wholesale distributor you use. Okay, so let's bring the camera down so you can see what's happening. Right, so we're going to go through Caesar Strip Flock Pro. Let's pop that down. So again, we're going to center it with the zipper. So it's convenient. Like the zipper can make it difficult because it could affect your pressure. That's why we have pillows. But it also makes it really nice uh, for alignment. Right, so we're going to take our long pressing pillow just because this design is five inches tall. All right, so let's go over here. My heat press is set to 320 degrees and we'll just go ahead and close it. Oh yeah, you can see my fan. It gets hot in here. This office, this, this my studio is actually like pretty small. It's like a small spare bedroom. So I have to turn on that fan. Can you guys hear me okay? All right, so let's lift it up. 
Let's bring this out. Oh yeah. It looks pretty cool if I say so myself. So let's move this over here. Okay, so now we're going to do the back. And just get some of these fuzzies on here. That's a blonde hair, so it's definitely not mine. Um, so yeah, the this customer got a whole bunch of these from Old Navy, uh, which we lucked out on because sweaters like this are just like so hard to come by right now. Are you guys experiencing supply chain issues? Because I sh for sure am. It's giving me so much trouble. Um, I wanted to do an order for something else for this team, but there was no, like the, the shirts were so hard to like get in stock. Like so many of the distributors like don't have enough in stock or, um, you know, they don't have enough with a certain size. And so it's just been really hard. Like, are you guys having issues with your holiday orders specifically? Like I, mine are like coming in okay, but honestly, I don't really know how much I should even promote my holiday orders because the my supply chain issues are so bad. All right, so there's the. So this zipper for the pocket is really popping up here, giving me some trouble, but I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be using the pressing pillow so that that issue will go away. All right, and so now we're setting this up right here, right in the middle of this name. And I'm going to bring my whole hoodie up. I have it hang. I, so I have it hang down a little bit at the beginning here because I want to see the uh, the shoulders for my alignment. But once I have that, I can kind of move it up and, and set up my alignment a little bit differently. Okay, so we have that here. Armpits. I think it's pretty good. That's about an inch. All right, so pressing pillow. Bring that up in here and I'm not going to use a uh, heat tape again because I already have my placement set I'm just gonna nudge this over to the side just a tiny bit okay so now let's go over here and let's close this All right so what are your thoughts so far have you done this what have you been up to this week like what are What's your life like? <laughs> so we're doing this as a 15 seconds, 310 degrees. This is Caesar Strip Flock Pro. And the great thing, it is now a warm peel. So I can just take this off as soon as it's done. Oh, we can slide this out. I forget about this sometimes. Check this out. All right, so let's get this out of here. So yeah, we still have those heat lines. Those typically fade away. Um, I will check all of these at the end of the night. And if they are still there, I will do like the standard, just go through the entire thing, very low pressure and tap it. So that will even out the heat lines. Cool. So we have two down uh seven more to go so if you have any questions please ask them if you just want to chat i love that too um you know there's a handful of you watching i know it's not my typical like software or glowforge stuff um but you guys know most of your business owners as well sometimes we got have an order to do you need to you got to get it done and so you know i wanted to be able to go live and chat with you so that's what we're doing uh, so Jerry says, sorry, so many questions. Don't be sorry. You're the only one asking. <laughs> uh, I usually line up my design with the zipper and then shift everything to the side. So the zipper hangs off the side of press. Yeah. So Jerry, I def, that is my normal process, but as you can see, it's not an option right now. I mean, I probably could, but the zipper is so close to the design that like, I just have to use a pillow instead. Do I love having a zipper close? No, not really. Uh, but, you know, that's that's what we're doing with this design. 
So I'm just setting this up. Again, this is Strip Flock Pro. Hey, Eileen. Thanks for joining. So um, when you cannot, so I prefer to hang the zipper off. Uh, but when it is not possible, like in this instance, that's why we use things like pressing pillows to lift up our design. So this will lift up the area that we're pressing to. And that will help us get pressure on our vinyl, but also keep us from having issues with the zipper being too close or the zipper getting too hot because it's lifting up the vinyl instead. So we're going to go ahead, close this in another 15 seconds. And then I have after this, uh, we're going to do two color, two color vinyl pressing. Uh, the reason why we're doing jerseys first is that has my sooner turnaround time. Okay. Let's bring this out. So strip flop pro. There's that. We can take this pillow out and we're just moving on. So again, ask questions as I go. I'm just pressing away. Uh, this, in case you're wondering, this hoodie is dynamic fleece. Let me look for the tag on the inside. This is 69% uh, cotton, 26 polyester, 5% spandex. So um, a nice little athletic feel. Uh, I like their like fleece type stuff at Old Navy. Um, so this works out really well. And I think the, this is for, these are for the, it's varsity. I don't know if it's just seniors, but it's varsity. So I think they're going to really, really like it. All right, so we have this right here. There's our hood. So let's go ahead and work on the name. I'm going to trim off the side here so the carrier sheet doesn't throw me off with my alignment. Sometimes that happens, especially with a thicker carrier sheet like the Strip Flock Pro has. Okay, so we have that set right here. We have a few inches. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring it down just a tiny bit. I was looking at my other one just for verification. But while I'm chatting and talking about my orders, do you guys have orders this week? Like what are, what are you up to? What's been new with you guys? Um, I have a cool sublimation machine in my office right now. Uh, so I just got a sawgrass. I'm working on some stuff for you guys with it now. I literally just got it in. And so I'm going to be working on some projects with it. One cool thing is if you're excited about it, uh, the sawgrass is actually part of the Black Friday deal that Heat Press Nation is doing literally right now. So um, I hope if you're thinking about it, you check it out, take advantage of the sale. I'm literally holding it up because now I'm like second guessing everything. This hood's tricky. It's like one of those sport hoods, so it like curls under. Okay, so we have that set right there. Let's go ahead and put our number down. I'm going to center it. It's going to be, I don't know, about like an inch underneath. So obviously this is hanging off. We need to bring our whole jacket up. Okay, so now we're ready for our pressing pillow. So the pressing pillow lifts it up, helps us get good pressure. It also uh, helps us not get the imprint from the zipper on the other side. So I'm just moving it over, making sure it's centered in there. Okay. So 15 seconds. And again, if you have questions, please ask them. 
If you have cool projects you're working on, I'd love to hear about it. And so this is my Heat Press Nation Craft Pro. I like that it pulls, it slides out. So Strip Clock Pro, you can peel warm. So that's what we are doing. So black on black, strip block pro on a black hoodie. Okay. So we have our next one. And this, uh, the customer was like really awesome with this. So we have the names and then each hoodie, the name and number and size was pinned on it. So if somehow... I misplaced it or moved everything around. I had everything I needed right there. So we're gonna do our left chest for this. Oh, I think this hoodie's a little bit different. I don't recognize these strings, but the front looks the same. So we're, we're moving on. All right, so we have our left chest. This says Gulf Coast heat, or it says Gulf Coast. It's for the heat, which we live in Florida, so there is a ton of heat here. We had like a couple days of like cooler weather, and now it's hot again. But we're, we're getting there. All right, so let's make sure our pressing pillow is underneath here. So these are just warm-up jerseys and... Uh, well, warm up jackets and jerseys. Uh, I'm using Caesar HTV for these. And so this is 15 seconds at 310 degrees. So let's do the back. So we're working on last names and numbers. I lay it down like this so I can see the shoulders, the corners, and then I will move it up once I have the name placed. And then it's helpful because you can feel down here uh, the, the collar and then the zipper, the next part of the zipper starts here. And I can see that the left chest zipper is here. So I'm going to use this as a guide. So again, I'm going to cut off this excess right here. Don't need it. And I'm kind of looking at the hood to help align center too, because your head always goes through here. So it's a safe bet. So there's that zipper part. You want our name a few inches from the zipper and like you know i always worry with hoodies like this like oh if the hood's down you're not gonna be able to see the name but i think what i forget is that like these kids these guys are gonna probably gonna be walking out with the hoods on that's the whole reason why we got hoodies you know so i'm not too worried about it because they're literally going to be wearing their hoods okay so replacing this i'm having my numbers you know about an inch below maybe a little bit more and I'm just kind of straightening this out just a tiny bit more. All right, so we're laying it right here. I'm just lifting it up and bringing it in there. And I'm actually bringing the number up a little bit higher. But anyway, do you guys have any questions? Have you joined recently? Please say hi. I love interacting with you guys. Are you ready for Christmas? Do you have orders you're working on? 
feel like I have a million orders. What's crazy is a lot of my orders aren't Christmas specific. They're just like things that people want. So I don't know what I'm going to do when like I'm full on Christmas season. So again, we're doing 15 seconds. So I have one, two, three, four, five more hoodies to go. So I just saw part of this vinyl like lifted back up with me. So I'm gonna do this, slide my pressing pillow over a little bit more so I can get pressure right there and I'm gonna repress right there. I don't want that. So this could be this could happen. Uh, this design is like 12 inches wide. So I run the risk of part of it not being under my pressing pillow. So I'm checking out the vinyl as I go. Uh, but you may need to repress in certain areas. All right, so that looks good. We're just moving on, trucking along. So this is a size medium. Okay. So you guys have any questions on pressing while I'm doing this or any questions on the vinyl, the cutter, even Glowforge? I still, you know, do a lot of glow forge. Right, so we're laying this out, centering it with our zipper. Okay, I'm moving it closer. Right, so there is our strip clock right there. So now we're setting up the back of it. do this several times it just like is a lot easier to line up so you don't have to worry about adjusting so much and I don't like this is not you know standard for everyone but like as far as pressing and stuff a lot of times like my placement instincts are pretty good so um for me like the faster I go the better because I I can't second guess myself okay so let's slide this up. All right, pressing pillow. Just inching it over to the side a little bit. Okay. I felt the heat, but I didn't burn myself. I scared myself. Right, so we're doing 15 seconds. I want to look carefully at the edges of this to make sure the edges aren't coming up because I want to have pressure all over. Okay. 
Okay. That looks pretty good. go from there and then a couple little linties little piece of lint got caught underneath it so I'm gonna use my tweezers to pull that out do you guys ever have this happen it stinks because it like really gets caught in there and like for most apparel it's not like a big deal because you know the lint kind of blends in but since this is black you can see everything Okay, so we got that. Another dryer. Okay, so we'll do our next one. We're just moving along. This is another dryer. These are brothers. Oh, where'd it go? I'm going to dust this off. Using a pressing pillow. There we go. I was pulling the pressing pillow underneath the pocket in here. I was wondering why I was getting stuck. All right, so I got to readjust it because obviously I just moved this like crazy. All right, so we have that set right here. Three hundred ten degrees for fifteen seconds. Okay, so now we're doing the backs. So we're doing the name and number. Again, this is Caesar Strip Flock Pro. I'm using the Heat Press Nation Craft Pro. I have a 15 by 15 and it slides out. Super convenient. Great for things where I need to align it and not, you know, burn myself. on that okay so the next Troyer boy finding where that zipper ends two inches from there and got an inch from the name I'm going to smooth it and then drag this whole thing up. So 
So yeah, if you're watching, thank you for joining me. Thank you for just hanging out while I finish an order. I thought I'd get on here and chat. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm just trekking along. Ooh, I touched the top. Let me bring this up a little bit. All right, 15 seconds. Get our name up. This one, I can feel the pillow wasn't all the way on that side, so I'm going to slide the pillow over so we can get pressure on this side. I want it on the corner of our name here. All right, so we're going to do it again. And this happens, you want to be careful when you have such a big design like this to like really look at the corners to make sure it got enough pressure to stay. Because it's definitely not something you want lifting up. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Good. We have that. All right, so here we have the back right here. So I have three more. If you're still here, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking around. Brushing that to the side. Let's grab this hoodie. Well, this hood, this is a hoodie. And then I'm just straightening out the little pocket inside of here, too. So I'm centering it, and I'm lining up my design more with the zipper itself. Because if, the, if your design is straight on the um, garment, it won't matter if the zipper is slightly crooked and it's not lining up with the zipper. So it feels counterintuitive, but you want to line it up with the zipper, even if it's crooked. I can't tell, like, I don't think this zipper is crooked, but you know, whenever you have something that's mass manufactured, you're always running that risk. So um, that's one thing to just keep in mind. All right, and I'm going to have to realign it anyway, because I saw it shifted when I moved the pressing pillow. This pocket in particular is giving me a, a hard time. Okay, so let's slide this in, Check that down. And this one, I feel like the pillow is not in a good spot. So I'm actually going to press this, slide it over, and then press it again just to be sure. Okay, so we have this. And I'm just sliding my pressing pillow over to this side a little bit and getting that pressure down on there. Okay. Sorry, the lighting, I mean, the way I have the lighting, it's making the black come off kind of blue, but this is like a pretty standard black in here. The one bad thing I don't like about this, this pull out press is that sometimes hoods get caught in these little springs. So do keep that in mind. They can get caught sometimes. Not enough to say I hate this press, I love this press, but you know, if you're shopping for one of these, that's just one thing to notice, especially if you're doing things like hoodies or larger shirts that do need to hang off. Okay, so we're just moving right along. This is Sparkman. Bring it down, bring it down. Let's 
set it right there. And then the number, look at the space between the vinyl, not the space between your carrier sheets. And now I'm going to take the entire thing like this, slide it up so it's all under the, the heating element. The zipper for the pocket is poking up, so I just need to go in there, fix it. Okay, so another pressing pillow and moving on. Have you guys watched Friday Night Lights? <laughs> I know it's like 10 years old, but I started watching it the other week and I like watch it during the day. And um, I'm almost done with it. And I like, am anxious to see how it goes. It's like really cheesy, but you know, I kind of like it. Okay, it's on there. It looked like the vinyl was lifting, but it was good. I'll probably go back and pop these under one more time. But the thing with this is that it's like got a strong bond to the carrier. So sometimes when you take the carrier off, you can see like the side of it and it uh, makes you feel like it's coming out, but it's not. Hey, Cassandra, doing some weeding. No worries. I didn't put this in an email, so there was no advance notice about it. I'm glad you're here now. So we're doing um, jerseys and warmups and we're doing black on black. So we have, Caesar Strip Flock Pro, right there, name and number. So we're gonna fix this, this will self-adjust, but we'll go back and fix it later if we need to. And then depending how it goes, we might do um, our two color jerseys while I'm, while I'm here. So we have name, so this is for Faso number 23. Pop that over there. So we're just dropping this on here. These are Old Navy performance fleece. And it's got a zipper right here, which can be tricky, but it's not too bad. We're just lining up our design off the middle of the zipper and making sure these letters right here are aligned straight down with the zipper because I don't like if the zipper if if the design is straight but the zipper is not straight it's going to make the design look crooked so you want to align it with what's near it in this case the zipper and I'm just loading in my pressing pillow this will lift it make sure I get the right pressure and it protects the zipper that's right next to it so I can see the side of it's hanging off so I'm just adjusting my pressing pillow over here to get it to hold up on this side. And so the hard part is this design is like slightly wider, so I just need to be careful with it. All right, 15 seconds. Cassandra, how have you been? Are you working on any orders? I've been trying to ask, I haven't gotten much from everyone in here, but like, what are you guys working on? What were you weeding? What kind of orders do you guys have? Uh, this is this is like a like a homeschool co-op league, but they play like high school, like it, they play with all the high schools and stuff. Um, so where I'm doing their jerseys and their warm ups. So I have girls basketball jerseys and boys varsity warm ups, and that's what we're doing right now. So we have that black on black. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. Get out of here. Not you. My pillow was falling and I said get out of here. Okay. All right, so let's get our name. So this name's going to look a lot bigger because it's a shorter name. So we set them up to be the same width. So sometimes, you know, if you have a shorter name, like Pots, you are fortunate enough to have a bigger name in general. 
It's funny. Smaller name, but bigger design. So she's working on some ornaments for a craft sale. Ara arabesque tiles. That's cool. I have not done any craft fairs yet because I, you know, am doing content like this. And then once I do just orders that people are asking for, there's just no time. I think like maybe if I'm, I don't like if I ever quit my full time job, my day job, I might be able to do craft beers, but right now, not so much. So we're just fixing this and bring it over to the right a tiny bit. Okay. And then again, we want our number to be centered off of there. And then the number itself is about an inch below. Don't worry. Like, don't look at your carrier where your carrier ends. Look where your vinyl ends. So we have that about an inch. Let's bring that down. So I'm going to smooth it so it'll stay in place as I move this whole thing up. So I'm just going to take it. And so I'm moving it up because it's hanging off the press. Okay, smooth it. That dang zipper. There we go. Okay, so we have it right here. All right, so pressing pillow. Oh, Cassandra's taking some time off working so she can craft. That's awesome. I thankfully will have, I mean, a lot of us have Thanksgiving off, but I'll definitely have a uh, Black Friday off. So I'm going to use that to get caught up on stuff. So the number here is wider than my pressing pillow. So I'm going to purposely bring it all the way to this side, press, and then I'm going to slide it over and do my next press just to make sure my entire design does have pressure. So 15 seconds. And I'm really having my press fight me when I close it because I want to make sure I have good pressure. And then after this, I have one more warm up. So let me know if you want me to do the jerseys too, or you're like so done with watching me. Okay, so I'm not moving the design itself, but I am moving the pillow to get this side right here. Okay. And we have one little piece of lint right here. I'm just going to grab it real quick. And we're just grabbing this right here too. This happens, this is like the kind of material that every little tiny piece of lint sticks to it. So you just wanna be careful with it. But there we go. Okay, so we have our last warm up. So we're keeping this guy, moving this over here. This buddy's got a long last name. Okay. So if you've been watching us full time, but just been quiet, thanks for watching anyway. I appreciate it. I know tons of people, you know, press like this isn't groundbreaking, but it's always nice to be able to go live and just chat a little bit. Um, for those of you who watch pretty often, I'm still working on like my Christmas stuff, last minute things, like how to maximize this holiday season. Um, so let me know in the comments, like what you're looking for, what kind of videos do you want? Uh, the software ones seem to be going well. So if you like the software ones, let me know. Um, I enjoy doing them. I really, really like teaching software. So, you know, everyone wins. 
Okay. So I'm bringing this over. I'm just holding this while I move the, the pillow. Um, I have the Heat Press Nation Craft Pro 15 by 15. I have it linked in the description. I like that it slides out. Like that's a big like win for me. Um, and then don't forget, like I do obviously sell finished items as you see right here, but I'm not like a full time apparel shop. So the Craft Pro is perfect for me. If you're full time apparel, you may want to look into a bigger press like the Stalls line, which is amazing. However, for someone like me, this is a great press to use. And so I do have it linked. I do believe, I could be wrong, but I do believe these are also part of their Black Friday sale. So you could get a good price on a press if you're looking for one. All right. So we have our black name there. Darn zipper drives me nuts. And so thankfully, like most of the time with activewear, they use uh, metal zippers. I did a onesie for my friends for like their like pregnancy announcement. And the zipper is, was plastic. It was so annoying. And so it actually melted the zipper and now they can't use it, which super sucks. Um, but thankfully, this has a metal zipper, so we don't have to worry about it with this one. So I'm just bringing this down. I think these are going to look really cool. I think the guys are going to really like them. So about an inch. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to just bring this whole thing up so it's all under the press. That stupid zipper in the front. All right, so we have that all in there. Pressing pillow like always. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the two presses too, just to make sure I have good pressure on both sides. So I'm having, I'm, I have the pillow pretty far over so it gets all of the letters here and then I'll switch it for the other side. Okay. I touched it. I'm fine. We're fine. Okay. And now we're going to do a little over here. Do it again, just so we can get pressure. slide this out that darn spring and I'm actually while I'm waiting gonna set my press to 320 I'm about to press with easy weight stretch and I do that at a slightly higher temperature okay that's our last one so I have some time it's 8 30 my time, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on some jerseys too. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool, that black on black. So this is for girls basketball. So we have two sets of colors for each one. So we're doing white and black. So each have red letters for the heat and then a different color outline and number. So this one, I do have to follow their regulations, but it's pretty easy. So we're gonna line up the team name right here. We use the armpits to kind of find our placement. And then the number is centered on the back. So starting with two colors, we obviously don't press these colors at the same time. These are two different presses. 
I'm going to bring this down, line it with my armpits. All right, so now we're going to go right here. Quick press. Uh, did I do? So I need to up, up my pressure. All right, and then let's grab our pressing pillow. No, I don't need a pressing pillow. I didn't do it before. I don't know what I'm thinking. Now let me slide this out because I feel like I just moved it. Okay. Okay. And this design is actually a little bit tricky because it's angled to the side. So see how I didn't resist at all? I'm going to increase my pressure by turning clockwise. And the reason why I'm adjusting it so much is that now I am not using a pressing pillow. So I don't have all of that pushing up against the press now. So we'll go right here. Lift this up. We're just doing a quick press. We're just tacking it on. So it'll stay. We don't want to press for too long because we don't want the vinyl to shrink. Um, any problems with dye mitigation on the orange? I haven't used stretch vinyl. Not yet. I've had good luck with this stretch, but I'm just doing black and white. So um, I'll let you know as the season goes on if we have dye migration because that will be a problem. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to have to remove the vinyl and then switch and then swap it out for easy lead extra. So this one has to be at least an inch below. I am going to measure just to be safe. So we're sitting at about an inch and a half. That's kind of what I've been doing. I'm centering it on there. So thankfully I can do these two presses at the same time. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit more. I want a tiny bit more pressure. Um, a lot of people earlier this year had some issues with stretch because it's a thinner vinyl. And part of it was because the, you need higher pressure for this. So I'm really tightening up my pressure because I do not want this to come up. I do not, I do not want to redo these. Okay. That looks good, right? I like it. Okay, so now we're gonna do the back. So this, the number is like centered in the back playing area. So we, we kind of set the number up off the, these um, armpits again. So we have our armpits, center, center, center. Line it up with that. I'm going to bring this up just a tiny bit. These numbers are huge, but they need to be nine inches tall. Isn't that crazy? Let me just measure because now I'm like, why are these so big? Oh, wait, I'm not pressing this because I'm pretty sure I got that confused and it should be seven inches. So I have to recut that because the other design was... Hold on. I might have made a boo-boo, guys. Let me look. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not pressing the back. <laughs> so these back numbers are not going to be pressed because I set these up as nine inches, which is the size of the uh, warm-ups. So that's what happens when you don't pay too close attention. So these back ones are going to be done later. So let me go through and... Just show you this one and then we'll I'll do the rest of these later. So this is two color. I set up the design. So we have our base color right here. This is bright red Caesar stretch. And then I did an offset. So when I did the offset on here, I did a slight internal offset so that this would um this would overlap. So we can have that align there. So we're gonna set this right here. Um I'm just gonna go through and work on the other jerseys but we're not going to do the back numbers so now i i have some really really large numbers but you know it is what it is so if anyone needs nine inch uh 22 23 24 let your girl know 
So I'm just going to do this one and then I'm going to call it because honestly, my room is really hot right now from my heat press and I'm done with it. So we're setting up our alignment right here. So we're just going to do a couple seconds. We don't need a lot. So we have our heat right there. And then we're just finding our placement in here and then doing our number right here. Let's just check. Yep, perfect. And then we'll just continue 15 seconds. Yeah, the regulations are what get you. And I was doing a couple different things at a time, so I got my sizing confused. But at least I didn't press it yet. Okay, and that's the black version. Cool. So, that being said, I think that is what we have for tonight. I think we have all of our pressing done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> Don't make the same mistake I did and cut your numbers the wrong size. because so I've been cutting those nine inch numbers all day and I just did it out of habit. But I fact, I mean, I, you know, the way I priced it is that it's going to be a pretty nominal impact to the profitability of this order because I priced it appropriately. I also buy uh, that vinyl uh, with the price breaks in mind. So thankfully I'm not like, wasting too much money, uh, but it is kind of a bummer. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back. I'll probably do, I'm not going to say probably. I'm going to try to do another live this week with my new sublimation machine. We'll see how it goes. But um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great week if I don't see you before. And if you have any future videos that you want me to do, please let me know. I'm so happy to do it. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.